we're here in Wapreya, Buru, Indonesia, where plastic is a problem. Plastic comes down from the community. It also comes out from the ocean to the beach. And when it ends up on the beach, it's big and it's chunky and it's not so good to put an eco brick. So we have ocean eco bricks, eco bricks samudra, that we can use to pack this plastic away to keep it from poisoning the environment and to make building blocks that we can use over and over again. Okay, we have gathered all our plastic from the beach. This is all dirty, chunky plastic. Plastic that won't fit into a normal eco brick like these guys over here are doing. So our job here is to deal with all this big chunky plastic. So to do so, we're cutting our cutting two bottles, right? We move the top of this bottle, end of this one, and now we have two pieces that we can pack of plastic inside. This can take a lot of plastic and it can go really quickly. So the first thing we start is by putting a color onto the bottom. Here we've got a black color, here we've got a silver color. Right? Then we've got our stick and we start packing it down. Just like an old eco brick. So packing it down along the sides. sides. We can start with packing soft plastic and then after the soft plastic we get this hard, chunky plastic and get this inside. Yeah? And little by little, all this plastic will disappear. So all these apple bottles here are cut to the same height. This way we'll have a standard size of ocean eco break when we're done. have leftover bottle tops. If you live in a city, this is, in a, is not a problem because recyclers will pick this up and recycle this plastic, no problem. However, if you live in Waprea or a small village where there's no recyclers, you're going to want to cut your plastic bottle up and put it into your ocean eco -brain. That way we have no waste left behind. Right? It helps after we have a lot of hard plastic on top, to get soft plastic and put that on top so it helps push it down.